inflammatory bowel disorder and Crohn's disease. Well, the day my husband and I had our twin boys was one of such happiness and then such fear because we were told our son Colt had a congenital heart defect that would require open heart surgery. He had that done on his second full day of life, Christmas Eve of last year. And today, this is Colt. He's seven months old. He still has some challenges but is making great strides. But I think about what it would be like to be a parent of a child in a place where they don't have the knowledge and technology to fix a baby's heart. For the past few years, a group called the Caribbean Heart Menders has been going to the Dominican Republic to change that. Look at this adorable little boy in the Dominican Republic named John. Now look at his lips. They're blue because the oxygen level in his blood is so low. Like the other children seen here at a hospital in Santo Domingo, his heart needed help. It got it thanks to a group called the Caribbean Heart Menders, which includes some doctors and nurses from Holtz Children's Hospital at Jack's Memorial Medical Center. They recently returned from the trip. Clearly, these children that we operate on, many of them would not survive more than a few more years. I mean, some of them have literally the end stages of congenital heart disease. Dr. Elliot Rosencrantz is a cardiothoracic surgeon at Jackson. What's new with Spider-Man today? He's brought his knowledge to the Dominican Republic several times and can see the impact he's had on a surgeon there. I would be the surgeon, he would be the assistant. Um, I did all the work. And over the years, that's transitioned so that this year, uh, I did one operation and that was it. He did all the others. What they lack in the Dominican Republic is the proper training. For that reason, pediatric heart surgeries rarely took place here. Nurses didn't know what to do. We would have sick kids come in and they would step back. But now that's changed. You're teaching somebody to grow as a professional. You're kind of supporting them in that way. Here in the U.S., when a child is born with a heart defect, it's usually corrected within the first year of life. But that is not the case in other parts of the world. Children are forced to live with their heart problem for years. Some of them don't make it. For the parents, they often live in limbo, not knowing when their child will get the help they need. There's no idea. Day after day, month after month, year after year, you know, the parents are waiting. When, when is something going to be done? And they see their child getting bluer and sicker. And, you know, it's, um, it's an unbelievable experience. But now more children are getting help, thanks to the Caribbean heart menders. Here are a couple more pictures of John after surgery. Now look at his lips. They're no longer blue, and there's a huge smile. Caribbean Heart Menders was founded in 1994. Since then, it has provided over 200 life-saving heart surgeries for children in the Caribbean. But you think about those poor children right. waiting so long and the parents when nothing can be done and just waiting for someone to come and, and provide help. And Colt, by the way, couldn't look any cuter. Thank you. <laughs> want to watch the video again? Yes, yes we want to play okay. that again. That's it. All right, thanks, Jack.